It's a poly lock. Uh, it's a 24 inch diameter. Uh, I think I got the 12 and 6 extension. To, that puts me at uh, 18 inches. Let's see, that's what the inside looked like. That's the adapter ring on the bottom. And I like how Polylock does theirs. It's more of a, if you look at the shape of it, so it'll fit the round uh, openings on your septic or it'll fit the, the square openings. So what I'm about to do is grab my shovel and cut a larger area for the base can fit down. I got the sealant slash adhesive to seal the base to the concrete uh, slab top of the septic. Uh, I got my impact in there. I got some hydraulic cement. I was thinking about putting this around the lip once I got it down, but we'll see. And I got my shop vac to clean off the dust once I scooped the, uh, the dirt off with my shovel. So I'm about to get started. I did a quick rough fit of where the ring is going to be, the adapter ring. I cleaned off, I think I excavated enough and I cleaned it off with my little broom. I'm going to use the shop vac to get to as bare cement as I can. Uh, then I'll remove the lid and secure the ring with the mountain hardware. I don't want to be here too much We're working around this with the actual lid removed. All right, septics can be dangerous. If you don't know what you're doing, I heavily suggest uh, contracting a, a plumber or a septic company. Okay. And I just hit it with the vacuum cleaner. All right, now to put the ring back on, mark the holes and I think I'm gonna go in and just start drilling them uh, I'm not gonna drill them all the way I'm gonna start drilling them then I'll remove the lid again just to reiterate I don't like working around these things with the lids removed uh, that's just me that that's just just me this a little safety thing all right the ankle bolts are in now to put the ring on all right, the lid is removed. That's the inside, that's the inlet T. That's where the clog was under going down. It's been so, it was prior to me cleaning it. It's been so many years since it was serviced as far as cleaning the T uh, that it built up on the going down. There's an extension on the bottom. It was closed like that big. So eventually it got plugged and the stuff was backing up I cleaned it out and everything started flowing again and I snaked it all right now I'm gonna seal the edge and put the uh, the mounting ring on all right the seal is well the sealant is down now to put the ring on all right the riser that's a 12 inch riser secured to the uh, the adapter ring now the mounting ring whatever you call it whatever you want to call it that's a six inch extension I don't think I'm gonna put that on the six inch extension will put the uh, the lid about that high I think that's I think that's good enough I like that right there it's not too high so uh I like that. Do not enter. Poison gas. <laughs> you think? Alright, so now I'm going to start filling in around the, uh, around the riser. And I'm going to return that. Hopefully it'll take that piece back because them bad boys are not cheap. And put my tools away and I'll be done. Riser's in. So anytime I need to service this, the, uh, the solid side, just lift the, well, undo the screws, and pull the lid off. And it's finished. All done. All 
I feel a whole lot better having this on rise on the septic because a lot of times when you call to get your septic pump you're gonna get a build on them having to locate locate the hatch uh, dig the hatch they have to dig down to get access the actual lids and then uh, of course the pumping but with this it's right here so this will save time and it'll save money and it'll save me uh, back breaking work if I ever have to clear a clog again. <laughs> 